Hey there, so today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite tools called Screencastify. It's also a Google Chrome extension, so you're going to go to the Google Chrome store and you're going to type in Screencastify and you are going to add it. Now there's a separate little video um, if you're interested in sort of how to allow it, but literally just follow the prompts. Um, so you're going to allow, allow, allow. Unfortunately, I can't use Screencastify to record Screencastify. So I've created this instead. Um, so once you add the uh, Screencastify, um, you will notice this tiny icon on the top, uh, so on your Chrome bar. Um, and that is what you are going to activate when you want to create a video. Um, it will ask you, do you want to record your whole desktop? Do you want a browser tab? Um, or do you want web webcam cam only? Um, and so you could uh, click anything. I usually do desktop. And then it will ask you if you want to have a microphone enabled or a, a webcam enabled. So you are going to actually have to click on that in order to enable it. I love the webcam because I think it gives you that personal touch. Um, you know, your kids are not just hearing you talk about whatever it is that you uh, think is important to capture in a video, um, but also they're getting your face. And as long as you're having a good hair day, it's all good. Um, and then you're literally going to hit record. You It counts you down for three seconds. And so I always make sure that I have the tab ready to go, just like I had this Google slide ready to go, um, so that when it goes three, two, one, start recording, um, I am ready to go. Um, and then you'll notice, you'll know you're recording um, because there's a little red dot that will appear just on the top. Um, and that's how you know, you know, don't keep talking for three minutes. If that isn't on, then you've done something wrong. You have to go back and check it out. But it really, really is easy. Um, you can always double check. Um, and then that's when you, uh, if when you're done, you're going to, again, click on that little red dot on your Chrome browser and you are going to hit the stop button. Unfortunately, there are limitations to having Screencastify Lite. Um, Screencastify Lite is free. You only get 50 videos. Um, and also, you can't pause and start again, whereas the premium version that you pay for, you can. But not a big deal. I kind of rehearse what I'm going to say. I do it on the fly anyway. It doesn't matter. Actually, it's nice for kids to see an unfiltered um, video once in a while rather than you know the filtered stuff they sometimes see. Um, so that is uh, how you stop it. And then you get a choice um, and you can save it just on your Google Drive or like me, I have a YouTube channel uh, for the library so I will save it on YouTube um, and put it there. And then you get to share permissions. So do you want just like a, anything on your Google Drive? Do you want to share it? Um, do you want it unlisted? Do you want specific people, et cetera, et cetera. It takes a couple of minutes for the actual video to upload. Um, and it will just give you the link once it's ready to do that. So then I'm going to show you in my Google Drive um, what it is that you're giving um, Screencastify permissions to do. So once you hit allow and authorize and you go to Screencastify, you put in green, Screencastify in your Google Drive, what you'll notice is that Screencastify has actually created a folder in your Google Drive and all of the videos that you ever record are in there. So if you change your mind later and you want to put it on your YouTube channel, you can certainly do that here. Um, if you want to just share right from your Google Drive, you are welcome to do that here. So um, just like always, uh, you want to know that, and it does have annotation tools, um, which I hardly ever use, but look at how cool that is. I don't even know what I'm drawing, but there are annotation tools that I don't really use a lot of. Um, and then you can, of course, erase them as well. So depending on what it is that you're demonstrating, um, you might want to use the annotation tools and it shows up right in the video. Um, so you're watching me do all this ecky stuff right on the video. Um, if you ever have any questions, let me know. Have an awesome day.